load it up with my violet and uh, let's get doing this. In the horns, there's a bit of violet under here where the horn sets in deeper. And then again up on the lower part of this. And there's some violet over through here coming into the bottom of the antler. I'll get a little violet on this area. Same with this antler. Quite a bit of violet actually. Except in this area where the light is hitting more. Right. And I think that's going to be it. You don't want to go overboard. It's, it's very easy to go way past what you really need, but it does, it, it gives a nice rich, I don't know how well you can, it uh, transfers on the camera, but you get a nice rich brown. Okay, again under here. Just underneath where the nose is. I'm just get, taking a, a nice look at this to see any places I might want to enhance it a little more. A little in here. Pinch more right there. That should this, a pinch of that. Alright. I think we're uh, ready to go back in with some highlighting on the fur to bring out lighter areas.
Alright. I think I want a little more down in here. There's a lot of violet down in here. And a little more right in there. Set that cheek back a little bit. Time to move on. Okay, I've moved the easel up a little bit. And uh, I'm going to work on the nose. I wanted to be at least right around eye level. I loaded up the gun with white. And, oh, got to get my sample picture back up here. Where did it go? Uh oh. There it is. Alright. Just gonna hook this over here. My reference picture. And uh you're working on this. Very short strokes on the fur for the nose. All pretty much upward strokes. I'm using the air just to set that paint a little bit so I can go over with second layers to brighten some of that up. As you notice, the fur pattern is going up and then curving around. <laughs> 